hi in this video you are going to learn array list in java so these are the topics what is array list features of the array list methods of array list it includes the constructor and the examples what is array list java array list class uses a dynamic array for storing the elements it is like an array but there is no size limit and we can add or remove elements anytime so it is much more flexible than a traditional array in c c++ and it is found in the java util package it is like vector in c++ the array list in java can have the duplicate elements and also it uses the or implements the list interface all the elements of list you need to implement in the array list as well and array list maintains the insertion order so the way the element inserted the same way it will be displayed or it will be faced and it also extends or inherits the abstract list class and implement list interface so let's go to the array list class so in the array list class if we can check so array list class is here so it actually <coughs> extends abstract list so abstract list contains all the method that is uh, required in the list like add set remove index of last index of this kind of method that will be explained later on and the it implements the uh, list interface list even actually extends the collection interface so the method that is present in the collection interface also present in the array list and it also in implement random access so random access is a marker interface it actually whenever array list uh, we use so it uses the get set and remove like using the index function so that uh, to get it done this interface is being used and then is a clonable it is also a marker interface so it is required to clone the object next is serializable so whenever the object we need to store in serializable format that will require or traverse over the network we need to implement this interface serializable so those things will be discussed in the respective video let's <coughs> concentrate on the array list feature so firstly it is it can contain duplicate element it can also maintain the element insertion order array list is not synchronized that means that it is not thread safe array list allows random access because the array works on the index basis that already i discussed <coughs> array list manipulation is little bit slower than the linked list in java because a lot of shifting needs to be done in array list suppose you need to remove a element by index so that time the previous or the next element index will be the current index so that way you need to shift the corresponding index and element so this operation needs some cost so at least in that sense it is costier uh, than the linked list so we cannot create the array list of primitive types let's say int small int small float and character etc so you need to create the array list of corresponding wrapper class for primitive type we can create array only <coughs> So these are the constructor array list. Array list has three constructors: default, no argument constructor. It is created with blank or empty array list. Array list with the collection. So here, <coughs> from a collection, you can create array list. It can be array list itself, or it can be any kind of collection. And with the capacity, so it is used to build the array list with the specified initial capacity. So I will explain this capacity part. so let's say if i create a blank array like this here it will create a array list of blank so here it will be create a blank element blank uh, object array like this now if i create a list with uh, with the collection itself let's say here let's say i can create a array list with the collection in this example then in this example in this particular case it will create the array with the size of that particular collection okay next if i create the array list with the specified index let's say anything 50 or like that so here in this particular case it will create the object array or the array list with that size 50 okay this is the initial size and corresponding to that initial capacity or default capacity 
we have another method called insure capacity so whenever we all know the arrays is dynamic so let's say when we are adding the elements in the array list when it cross the the size of the array array list it will increase dynamically that time it will refer to the <coughs> default strategy with the default capacity but here if we specify using the insure capacity it can be any value it can be 100 let's say then it will grow the next array with that size okay so it is so if any program if you need to provide if you need if you need to increase the array list and you know like it will increase by this point kind of uh, size better to use the ensure capacity method because it actually enhance the performance otherwise every time it reach the um, size of the array array list then it will create a array, array itself that is costlier so you, if you know this particular thing then it is better to provide the ensure capacity if I go to the method details, you can check the documentation. <coughs> okay. So next is the method of array. First one is add method. Add with the index and add with only element and then add all. So I'm coming to one by one. So let's say the add this one. So if I print this the first part so it will print the element first one is adding with the index without index okay so by default if i add use the add it will always refer to the next index next available index now here let's say if i do this kind of thing let's say if i we have you know that uh, this one is the first index right now i add the same element here so what let's see what, what happened so here i add it in the second in first index so the previously added thing will be shifted so by default it will use the first preference is the index preference once all the index is already done then actually the preference of the adding of element after that particular index so here that i show you now next is add all so add all method with the index add all already know like you can directly add all without index like that so it will also add after that index if i print this particular thing so after 0 uh, after 1111 1, 1, 1, so 0000 0, 0, 0, it will 1111 uh, 1, 1, 1, it will add the list here so if i check this okay now if i add all after one index here like that then it will add the element after 0000, 0, 0, 0. Okay. i think it is clear now i ex clear will clear the list i think you know ensure capacity already explained used to enhance the capacity of the array list instance and get so it is used to get the element a particular position so actually it is required whenever you are having a array list like we are iterating the list normal using normal for loop or like that so we can directly get the index like that way so here if we print the index of the array list let's say index of index you can say like this i and then value is if i say like this then it will print okay so next is empty so it will return true if the list is empty iterator and list iterator already explained in the <coughs> iterable interface section please check video last index of now it is used to return the index in the list of the last occurrence of the specified element so as array list can contain duplicate element so in case of duplicate element also it will give us the last occurrence of the element so let's say here the duplicate element is um, 
duplicate element is uh, AED. Okay, now if I want to print the um, let's say last index of last index of here of a list dot AED. Sorry, last index of so here uh, if we print the last index of AED. So let's say just print the hello here. Okay, let's one minute. Let's iterate over here. This now if I use this last index of then it will print the last index of AED. Yeah. Now if the value is not present inside the list or the elements of the list then it will print minus one okay so same like last index of we have index of in the list so it will also give the first index of the element so here it will because it is not present it is returning minus one and if it is present it will return one so last index of will return the last element it will return the first element so next is uh, two array and array that already discussed uh, in different video please check the collection video i think in the clone so it will return the swallow copy of the array list so if we can check the implementation of the clone array list dot clone this one so if i go to the implementation you can check it will create the copy of the uh, array like copy of the elements to another list so it will create a space list by that way it will copy it is calling the swallow copy or actually shallow copy now <coughs> uh, next is contents check it is like it will check the element present in a particular in the list or not index of check already explained remove remove the uh, index or the element so in array list we can also remove one index or it will can remove this element with the value okay removal also explained previous video remove is also same remove range now it is internal method it is a protected method internally used whenever clear is uh, or some other api is called so internally for you can provide the range from that range to uh, from to two range it will remove the elements all elements okay replace all it will actually kind of a it is this particular api is in 1.8 java 1.8 so it will replace all the element based on some logic so let's say uh, let's say in this particular example if i want to make it uppercase okay uh, so let's say before print hmm, let's say if i want to make it uppercase so here replace all now i am using some java 8 syntax so in java 8 video you can check here you can do it to uppercase so it will replace or not replace it will actually operate on that particular list all the elements of the list now if i print the element let's check so it will actually give that replaced values it's all uppercase okay so like that retain all next is retain all retain all is kind of the union method so it will actually check the method present in one list and to another list and all the uh, like element that is being matched that will be written set so here if i using the set function it can using that we can actually able to set the value in a particular element so let's say in this particular example I want to set the value in a, a second element. So, second element initially consists of AED. Now it will be consists ACD after I set the value here. So, based on that, I can set the value. Okay. So, next is uh, the sort API sort method will be explained in different section when we discuss regarding compiler and comparable so next is split iter it is already explained in the iteratable iteratable or collection video please check that sublist is the like we can actually 
from a particular list we can create a sub list or we can say the uh, we can cut out the list from one index to another index so here in this example if I want to sub list it so let's say uh, this is the list so I want to sub list so sub I make it sub list so here dot sub list you can say 2 to 4 here so here it will print the this one so 2 ACD to 4 so it is actually um, yes, so it is inclusive and fourth index is exclusive okay so before that so for uh, you can check the documentation okay now next is the size size already you know the it will return the size of the list trim to size it is used to trim the capacity of the array list instance to be the list current size so by default it is not trim to size so if i make it trim to size then actually based on the capacity so it actually uh, feed the array size that is internally defined uh, inside the array list class so it will define with the size it will actually sync with the size so i think that's all in the array list section if you want to know in detail so better again you will uh, check this video and also you can go to the documentation of the array list class and check each and every method in detail so basically in java the api is written in a such a manner and documentation is very good so you can check uh, and also you can understand based on the documentation okay thank you that's all from the array list section okay hope you understood